the first book of the Chronicles, chapter 26. For the divisions of the gatekeepers there were of the Korahites, Meshelamiah, the son of Kore, of the sons of Asaph. Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jethniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Johanan the sixth, Eliohanai the seventh. Obedidom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sekar the fourth, Nathanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Pheolethai the eighth. God had indeed blessed him. Also to his son Shemaiah sons were born, who ruled over the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah were Othni, Raphael, Obed, and Elzebad, whose brothers Elihu and Shemekiah were valiant men. All these were of the sons of Obed-Edom. They and their sons and their relatives were able men with strength for the service, sixty-two from Obed-Edom. Meshelamiah had sons and relatives, eighteen valiant men. Also Hosa, one of the sons of Merari, had sons, Shimri the first, although he was not the firstborn, his father made him first, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and relatives of Hosa were thirteen. To these divisions of the gatekeepers the chief men were given duties like their relatives to minister in the house of the Lord. They cast lots, the small and the great alike, according to their father's households, for every gate. The lot to the east fell to Shelemiah. Then they cast lots for his son Zechariah, a counselor with insight, and his lot came out to the north. For Obed-Edom it fell to the south, and to his sons went the storehouse. For Shupim and Hosa it was to the west, by the gate of Shalaketh on the ascending highway. Guard corresponded to guard. On the east there were six Levites, on the north four daily, on the south four daily, and at the storehouse two by two. At the par bar on the west there were four at the highway and two at the par bar. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers of the sons of Korah and of the sons of Merari. The Levites, their relatives, had charge of the treasures of the house of God and of the treasures of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Ladan, the sons of the Gershonites belonging to Ladan, namely the Jehielites, were the heads of the father's households belonging to Ladan the Gershonite. The sons of Jehielai, Zetham and Joel, his brother, had charge of the treasures of the house of the Lord. As for the Amramites, the Isharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites, Shebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was officer over the treasures. His relatives by Eleazar were Rehabiah, his son, Jeshiah, his son, Joram, his son, Zikri, his son, and Shelomoth, his son. This Shelemoth and his relatives had charge of all the treasures of the dedicated gifts which King David and the heads of the father's households, the commanders of thousands and hundreds, and the commanders of the army had dedicated. They dedicated part of the spoil won in battles to repair the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer had dedicated, and Saul the son of Kish, Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah, everyone who had dedicated anything, all of this was in the care of Shelemoth and his relatives. As for the Isharites, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned to outside duties for Israel as officers and judges. As for the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his relatives, 1,700 capable men, had charge of the affairs of Israel west of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and the service of the king. As for the Hebronites, Jerijah the chief, these Hebronites were investigated according to their genealogies and fathers' households in the fortieth year of David's reign, and men of outstanding capability were found among them at Jezer of Gilead. And his relatives, capable men, were two thousand seven hundred in number, heads of fathers' households. And King David made them overseers of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites, concerning all the affairs of God and of the king. Chapter 27. Now this is the enumeration of the sons of Israel, the heads of fathers' households, the commanders of thousands and of hundreds, and their officers who served the king in all the affairs of the divisions, which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, each division numbering twenty-four thousand. 
Jashobiam, the son of Zabdiel, had charge of the first division of the first month, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. He was from the sons of Perez, and was chief of all the commanders of the army for the first month. Dodai, the Ahohite, and his division had charge of the division for the second month. Mikloth being the chief officer, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The third commander of the army for the third month was Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada the priest, as chief, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. This Benaiah was the mighty man of the thirty, and had charge of thirty, and over his division was Amizabad his son. The fourth for the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebediah his son after him, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The fifth for the fifth month was the commander Shamhuth the Israelite, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The sixth for the sixth month was Ira the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The seventh for the seventh month was Helez the Pelonite of the sons of Ephraim, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The eighth for the eighth month was Sibekai the Hushathite of the Zerahites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The ninth for the ninth month was Abiezer the Anathathite of the Benjamites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The tenth for the tenth month was Maharai the Netaphathite of the Zerahites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The eleventh for the eleventh month was Benaiah the Perathonite of the sons of Ephraim, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The twelfth for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Netophathite of Othniel, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. Now in charge of the tribes of Israel, chief officer for the Reubenites was Eleazar, the son of Zikri, for the Simeonites, Shephatiah, the son of Meachah, for Levi, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel, for Aaron, Zadok, for Judah, Elihu, one of David's brothers, for Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, for Zebulun, Ishmaeliah, the son of Obadiah, for Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, for the sons of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, for the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Pedaiah, for the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Edo, the son of Zechariah, for Benjamin, Jeaziel, the son of Abner, for Dan, Azarel, the son of Jeroham, these were the princes of the tribes of Israel, but David did not count those twenty years of age and under, because the Lord had said he would multiply Israel as the stars of heaven. Joab the son of Zeruiah had begun to count them, but did not finish, and because of this wrath came upon Israel, and the number was not included in the account of the chronicles of King David. Now Osmaveth the son of Adiel had charge of the king's storehouses, and Jonathan, the son of Uzziah, had charge of the storehouses in the country, in the cities, in the villages, and in the towers. Ezra, the son of Kilub, had charge of the agricultural workers who tilled the soil. Shimei, the Ramathite, had charge of the vineyards, and Zabdi, the Shiphite, had charge of the produce of the vineyards stored in the wine cellars. Baalhenan, the Gidderite, had charge of the olive and sycamore trees in the Shephelah, and Joash had charge of the stores of oil. Shitrai, the Sharonite, had charge of the cattle which were grazing in Sharon, and Shaphat, the son of Adlai, had charge of the cattle in the valleys. Obil, the Ishmaelite, had charge of the camels, and Jediah, the Moronathite, had charge of the donkeys. Jazes, the Hagrite, had charge of the flocks. All these were overseers of the property which belonged to King David. Also Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a man of understanding, and a scribe, and Jehiel, the son of Hakmonai, tutored the king's sons. Ahithophel was counselor to the king, and Hushai the archite was the king's friend. Jehoiah to the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar succeeded Ahithophel, and Joab was the commander of the king's army. Chapter 28 now David assembled at Jerusalem all the officials of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the commanders of the divisions that served the king, and the commanders of thousands, and the commanders of hundreds, and the overseers of all the property and livestock belonging to the king and his sons, with the officials and the mighty men, even all the valiant men. Then King David rose to his feet and said, Listen to me, my brethren and my people. 
I had intended to build a permanent home for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and for the footstool of our God, so I had made preparations to build it. But God said to me, You shall not build a house for my name, because you are a man of war and have shed blood. Yet the Lord, the God of Israel, chose me from all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be a leader, and in the house of Judah my father's house, and among the sons of my father he took pleasure in me to make me king over all Israel. Of all my sons, for the Lord has given me many sons, he has chosen my son Solomon to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. He said to me, Your son Solomon is the one who shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be a son to me, and I will be a father to him. I will establish his kingdom forever, if he resolutely performs my commandments and my ordinances, as is done now. So now, in the sight of all Israel, the assembly of the Lord, and in the hearing of our God, observe, and seek after all the commandments of the Lord your God, so that you may possess the good land, and bequeath it to your sons after you forever. As for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father, and serve him with a whole heart and a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts, and understands every intent of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will let you find him, but if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be courageous and act. Then David gave to his son Solomon the plan of the porch of the temple, its buildings, its storehouses, its upper rooms, its inner rooms, and the room for the mercy seat, and the plan of all that he had in mind for the courts of the house of the Lord, and for all the surrounding rooms, for the storehouses of the house of God, and for the storehouses of the dedicated things, also for the divisions of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord, and for all the utensils of service in the house of the Lord, for the golden utensils, the weight of gold for all utensils for every kind of service, for the silver utensils, the weight of silver for all utensils for every kind of service, and the weight of gold for the gold lampstands and their golden lamps, with the weight of each lampstand and its lamps, and the weight of silver for the silver lampstands, with the weight of each lampstand and its lamps according to the use of each lampstand, and the gold by weight for the tables of showbread for each table, and silver for the silver tables, and the forks, the basins, and the pitchers of pure gold, and for the golden bowls with a weight for each bowl, and for the silver bowls with a weight for each bowl, and for the altar of incense, refined gold by weight, and gold for the model of the chariot, even the cherubim that spread out their wings, and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, all the details of this pattern. Then David said to his son Solomon, Be strong and courageous and act. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. Now behold, there are the divisions of the priests and the Levites for all the service of the house of God, and every willing man of any skill will be with you in all the work for all kinds of service. The officials also and all the people will be entirely at your command. Chapter 29 Then King David said to the entire assembly, My son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is still young and inexperienced, and the work is great. For the temple is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now with all my ability I have provided for the house of my God the gold for the things of gold, and the silver for the things of silver, and the bronze for the things of bronze, the iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood, onyx stones and inlaid stones, stones of antimony and stones of various colors, and all kinds of precious stones, and alabaster in abundance. Moreover, in my delight in the house of my God, the treasure I have of gold and silver I give to the house of my God, over and above all that I have already provided for the holy temple, namely three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, 
and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the buildings, of gold for the things of gold, and of silver for the things of silver, that is, for all the work done by the craftsmen, who then is willing to consecrate himself this day to the Lord. Then the rulers of the fathers' households, and the princes of the tribes of Israel, and the commanders of thousands and of hundreds, with the overseers over the king's work, offered willingly. And for the service for the house of God they gave five thousand talents, and ten thousand derricks of gold, and ten thousand talents of silver, and eighteen thousand talents of brass, and one hundred thousand talents of iron. Whoever possessed precious stones gave them to the treasury of the house of the Lord, in care of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, because they had offered so willingly, for they made their offering to the Lord with a whole heart. And King David also rejoiced greatly. So David blessed the Lord in the sight of all the assembly, and David said, Blessed are you, O Lord God of Israel our Father, for ever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty, indeed everything that is in the heavens and the earth. Yours is the dominion, O Lord, and you exalt yourself as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. And in your hand is power and might, and it lies in your hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Now therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and who are my people, that we should be able to offer as generously as this? For all things come from you, and from your hand we have given you. For we are sojourners before you, and tenants, as all our fathers were. Our days on the earth are like a shadow, and there is no hope. O Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided to build you a house for your holy name, it is from your hand, and all is yours. Since I know, O oh my God, that you try the heart and delight in uprightness, I, in the integrity of my heart, have willingly offered all these things. So now with joy I have seen your people who are present here make their offerings willingly to you. O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, our fathers, preserve this forever in the intentions of the heart of your people, and direct their heart to you, and give to my son Solomon a perfect heart, to keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, and to do them all, and to build the temple for which I have made provision. Then David said to all the assembly, Now bless the Lord your God. And all the assembly blessed the Lord, the God of their fathers, and bowed low and did homage to the Lord and to the king. On the next day they made sacrifices to the Lord, and offered burnt offerings to the Lord, one thousand bulls, one thousand rams, and one thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel. So they ate and drank that day before the Lord with great gladness. And they made Solomon the son of David king a second time, and they anointed him as ruler for the Lord, and Zadok as priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David his father. And he prospered, and all Israel obeyed him, all the officials, the mighty men, and also all the sons of King David, pledged allegiance to King Solomon. The Lord highly exalted Solomon in the sight of all Israel, and bestowed on him royal majesty, which had not been on any king before him in Israel. Now David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel. The period which he reigned over Israel was forty years. He reigned in Hebron seven years, and in Jerusalem thirty-three years. Then he died in a ripe old age, full of days, riches and honor, and his son Solomon reigned in his place. Now the acts of King David from first to last are written in the chronicles of Samuel the seer, in the chronicles of Nathan the prophet, and in the chronicles of Gad the seer, with all his reign, his power, and the circumstances which came on him, on Israel, and on all the kingdoms of the lands.